Hey, what's up, dudes? Welcome back. We're here for another uh, tutorial. I know it's been a hot minute. I apologize for how long it takes me to get to these videos. I'm trying to figure out like what's beneficial to maybe you guys. So I'm here to, I don't know, show you something kind of cool. And maybe it's useful for you guys that are maybe streaming in your houses. Maybe you got to walk around and do something and you want to take your audience with you really easily. It's really simple and it's called video.ninja, but it's actually called obs.ninja. I don't know. They maybe changed the website or whatnot. Basically how this works is all you got to do is go to obs.ninja on your phone. You're going to go ahead and create a room or add a camera to obs or create a reusable invite. Let's just add a camera to obs. Really simple. And uh, if I go ahead and do that, it's going to ask me for some permissions. I'm going to go ahead and allow it. And uh, now it's going ahead and trying to look for my camera. And now that it's found it, it sees the source. You can actually see a little live preview right there. Uh, I can go ahead and hit start or customize my options here. So what I'm going to do is like, I can also add a password, which is kind of nice. So if I didn't want people to see this or log in, like it could only be accessed by me. We're going to take that off for now. So uh, I'm going to use the front facing camera right here. I'm going to hit this little start button. And now that I start, you can see we're in full camera mode. Pretty cool. It looks like it actually defaulted to my, uh, my face cam here. So it's on the front facing camera. But on the top, you can actually see this little link right here uh, up, up on top that is showing you what you need to copy and bring into OBS. It's really this simple, man. All you gotta do, go ahead and click the little uh, clipboard, copy the clipboard, and now you gotta send that to yourself via, I don't know, Twitter or however you wanna send it. Now, yeah, I don't know how you're gonna get that link to yourself, put it to your Discord on your phone, message yourself, or just type it in. So, you know what? It's short enough that I can type this in, so I'm gonna go ahead and type it in. Let's go ahead and jump into my, uh, my desktop I can show you exactly how this is all set up. Now we're inside of OBS. So what you need to do is open up your uh, your little source menu here and go ahead and add a browser source. Yeah, man, it's going to be nice and simple. So I'm going to come over here. We're going to set this to uh, 1920 by 1080 and uh, I'm going to leave it as is. Now over here, we did see the link and the link ends up showing W capital F and then I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and hopefully it goes, it goes and looks, and, looks and it does. And right there, the, 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 the source is already live and ready to go. So, and you can kind of see the delay is is pretty good. If you're trying to send audio to this, you're gonna to want to make sure that you have, uh, you know, use it custom audio controls right here. I can go ahead and hit OK, and now it's gonna to start to uh, look for the audio coming in from the browser source. Uh, so, if I wanted to, I could change the audio settings. I can change, uh, you know, a bunch of different stuff here, which makes it kind of nice. And you can also see that it's streaming the little bit rate on the top right there so you can actually see what's happening. It's pretty nice to be able to uh, get yourself a little secondary camera source. So one kind of cool feature is I can actually hit this bottom left button here and turn off the video feature. So, you know, if I'm going to go use the bathroom and I wanted to turn off my uh, my thing, I could. I could also bring back the uh, the camera and I can also turn off the uh, the old audio levels here by muting this on the uh, the thing here. And it should, in theory, mute. And you can see it stopped right there on the bottom of your screen. You can actually see that it stopped. Uh, you know, stop producing audio so I can bring that back. Uh, there's also a little uh, chat feature if you guys actually wanted to send this to your friends and whatnot. So and if I actually turn this over to its side, you can see the quality is not great. So maybe this is something more catered towards the people that want to get themselves a, uh, you know, a situation where they got like a little camera somewhere up in the top side of the screen. Now, this is totally acceptable, in my opinion, if I go full screen preview on this. It's, this doesn't look that bad. This is like, this is actually okay. It's acceptable. So if you needed a webcam on the fly, I can always take this, go to my kitchen, go wherever I want. It's producing audio. It's doing all that stuff. And literally it's all being done through a browser source. So it's really nice and simple to be able to just add a browser source to your OBS and take your camera wherever you want to go. Maybe bring your viewers along with you. So yeah, I mean, that that's it. I, I, I'm not trying to, you know, do anything crazy here. I'm not trying to give you guys a, a hard tutorial. It's just really something simple. And uh, this thing is actually really nice. Now, if there's a way to adjust the, uh, the kilobytes per second here to make the quality a little bit better, I would kind of be a little bit more impressed with it. Um, and there is other options out there. There is another pr uh, plugin, which I'll, I'll link, I don't know, here called IV Cam that does a very similar thing, but I think it goes over your uh, your network potentially. So uh, keep that in mind that IV cam is another option that you can use to go ahead and send your your camera feed to your uh, your streams, your OBS or whatever you want through a browser source. But that's it. Uh, that's the end of this video. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, it, it, I'd appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? I'll try to get more videos going out uh, on the more regular here. I've been working on the side here, shooting stuff and editing and all that kind of stuff. So anyways, come on in, come on back. You know, there's more tutorials over here in, uh, on the channel. So, you know, or you can tune into my live streams, activator.tv. Come hang out. Uh, I'm usually live Monday, Wednesday, and uh, Friday. So I'll catch you guys uh, later. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you dudes. And until uh, next time, 
Have a good night. Have a good morning. Have a good evening, wherever you are. Stay beautiful. Stay awesome. You are awesome. Catch you on the next one. Bye.